This video was inspired by two comments, Hog Dex and Challenger One. Gonna go and jump into the arena on my free to play level 12 account with five different Hog Rider decks. Let's get into it. And he's gonna go, why would you mirror into a mini P.E.K.K.A.? And look at the counter push we have on the opposite side. How can we not start the video off with Hog 2.6? Let's get ourselves a dunk. All right, let's see. Now, fortunate for me, my Ice Spirit is level 11, so I will be able to get some chip. That's good for us. He goes in with that. No longer going to get any chip. But what we will do is go ahead and cycle the log and probably play a little bit patient, depending on what my opponent might do. He goes in with the rocket. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to go opposite lane here. So this could be like a rocket cycle kind of a deck here or expo. Let's get a musketeer down now that he used his rocket. Goes magic archer. So we'll go here with this. And then I think I'm going to apply a good bit of pressure here. That was a bad, bad, unless he has his Tesla back in cycle, a very bad tornado. All right, so we should be good here. Musketeer is going to take that down. We're going to get a lot of damage here. Now, of course, my hog rider is maxed out. So, of course, that helps. Let's see, level 12 guards. Not going to worry about this too much. I think what we'll do is go Ice Golem now. Let's go in with the Musketeer now. He might rocket this, actually. He is back to his Tesla, so what I'm prepping for here is going to be a Fireball with the Hog Rider kind of a push, at some point at least. So what I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and log this, and I will Fireball the Magic Archer. One piece of advice is do not give your opponent value by placing the Magic Archer close to the arena tower like that. All right, perfect. We'll be able to take this down. Let's just go right in with this. I don't think he's going to use his Tesla, but if he does, that will be a mistake. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't want to go Hog Rider because he's obviously going to be able to shut it down with the Tesla. So I will be okay with the fact that he just played it. Let's just go ahead and log right now. He goes Rocket once again. Now we'll go ahead and start to build up a push. I don't know what he's really thinking there, uh, if he's going to try to Rocket Cycle, but it's going to be too late for him. And I think we should be able... Our cycle is obviously a lot faster. We should be able to make this work. Let's go a little bit high here with the cannon. Let's go in with this. I'm just going to log once again. Now I go in here. I have the... Actually, this is going to be some serious value. This is going to be some serious value. What? Guys, come on, man. Seriously? What kind of a deck is this? Okay, he's running multiple buildings. Now, he's going to get some value here. So let's go in with this. Now we're going to go real heavy here. And we should be good. Now, he's going to have his Tesla back in cycle. But we should be able to... Uh, yeah, we'll just log anyways, though. That's fine. He used the tornado there. Let's go ahead and get a Musketeer down. We should get a Hog hit. Let's go. Perfect. Let's get two, actually. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Oh, yeah, we definitely got this here. Musketeer's going to take it as well. Let's go. GG's. Have a nice day. And you know how your boy ends up. Peace out. Now let's go ahead and jump in using some Hog EQ Cycle. Obviously not as good once they nerf the EQ, but still pretty strong. All right, so let's go ahead and cycle the Skeletons here right now. Goes in with the Goblin Barrel. Go ahead and take that out. Boom. Let's get ourselves a Firecracker. I'm going to go opposite lane, so we're obviously facing Bait here. I don't know yet. I might go Tesla High. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go Royal Delivery here. And then what we'll do is allow that to happen. Now I'm going to go in. He was Valkyrie. I think he was trying to... Oh, that stinks, man. I'm going to go in with the Earthquake. And then we'll be able to get the Valkyrie down ourselves. Boom. And we'll pull it. So we should be able to get a lot of damage. He goes in with that. He's going to get some work done. But we'll go ahead and take it out right about now. Boom. Valkyrie goes down. We are up in tower damage advantage. However, he probably has rockets. We do got to be careful there. That's actually going to be okay. I got to wait for the Valkyrie to go down. And then what we'll do is go in with the Larrys and hopefully take her out. That is perfect. All right, awesome. He's got his barrel. Nope, not yet. We'll go here, and then I just got to get ready once I see the barrel coming. Possibly we'll have the Royal... No, nope, he goes in with the Rocket. So because he did that, I am definitely going to go in here, and we will go ahead and EQ right about here. So I'm assuming he has a tower of some kind. Boom. So And then we're going to go in with this right here because I'm assuming he's going to go Skeleton Army. He did it, but we're going to get a lot because he had to wait on it, guys. Let's go. We're already in such great shape. Now, with this here, what we want to do is just try to get a positive trade and just take care of those Larrys, right? Which is one Elixir Skeletons, man. Let's go. Now, he's probably going to go Barrel, and I'm just going to get ready for the Royal Delivery. We should be good to go. We can obviously EQ that tower on the other side. So, I'm going to probably push the Firecracker opposite lane here. Let's see what we got. I'll probably will go in with the Hog Rider once again. Let's do that. Very possible we made our opponent tap out. And... I think the answer to that is a yes. As you can see, just play 
patient, play smart, learn your opponent's deck. All right, that is the key here. Let's just get a Tesla down. I'm just trying to basically get to another Hog Rider. Just learn your opponent's deck. Don't rush. The first 30 seconds should be exactly that. Let's go ahead and get the Earthquake down. Drop the log. Cycle some Larrys on his side. Get another Firecracker down. Let's go. GG's. Have a nice day. And peace out. Now we're going to go ahead and jump in using Hog Lightning. Very, very strong also on defense. All right. Perfect starting rotation defensively. And we can start off with the Hog Rider. Let's go ahead and do that and see how our opponent defends. Ghost Princess there. Let's go in with this here. We'll take out the Princess. And I have to get the Valkyrie down on... Okay, so what we'll do here is keep this right here. And then he goes in with that. So this is a very baby, obviously, deck. But my opponent is playing so aggressive right now. I think we're going to be able to punish. I'm going to go Dark Prince here. Because he went Goblin Barrel. If he didn't do Goblin Barrel, I think I probably would have been a little more patient. This should be okay for us because the Valkyrie is tanking. And we're going to be able to take out that Inferno Tower. So he is able to shut it down with the Knight. But at the same time, guess what we just did? We took care of his Inferno Tower. And I knew he would go Princess. So we'll go a little bit high here and take her out. And again, very, very aggressive and not the way you want to play. He goes Skeleton Army. I knew that was coming. But guess what? It's no longer in cycle. Skeleton Army. And if he goes in with like a barrel, I'm telling you, he's going to be a mistake. I don't think he's going to be back to or have enough for his... Let's get this down here. Uh, Inferno Tower. Boom. And he doesn't have Skeleton Army. The damage that we're about to do is amazing. Guys, if you are playing bait, do not be this aggressive. You still have to be calculated. We already have it in... I got to get this down for sure. We already have it in Lightning Range. He's going to defend against this Valkyrie, but he shouldn't. That's another piece of advice, right? Don't do that. So what we'll do here is go ahead and get the Dark Prince down right now. Boom. And we'll take out most of those little Larrys. We're going to go ahead and take care of the Knight. He does get some work done for sure. And we're not going to do too much else here. I'm assuming he's going to go in with the Inferno Tower, possibly. And we'll let that all happen. Oh, he goes in with that. Okay, that's I'm good with that. Now what he's going to do is go in with the Princess. So we're just going to go ahead and get this down. I'm assuming that's what he wants to do, right? So we're going to go in with the Hog Rider. Goes in with that himself. Let's go here with this. And then we're going to go ahead and get this down as well. Hog Rider's definitely making it. Boom. He's going to get some work done. Minions are going to help out. Boom, boom, boom. Now what we'll do is... Let's see, let's see, let's see. He's got the Dark Goblin going. We're going to get the Valkyrie down here. We'll get a Dark Prince down here. And again, he's just too aggressive. All right? I'm telling you. Let's go here with this. Not worried about the Skeleton Barrel. Remember, we have the other tower in Lightning Range. He goes in with the Inferno Tower. Let's just go ahead and take that boom and a boom and a boom. We're going to go ahead and do this. He can't go Princess either. All right. He's not going to be able to get her down in time. I'm going to get this down as well. This is probably going to try to do it. I'm telling you guys, right? Let's go ahead and get this down. And I'm not even worried about this, guys. Seven seconds. We're going to go here with this. We'll be able to take it out. He's going to get some work done, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Have a nice day. GG's. Got a little close, but we took it. Peace out. And for the fourth choice, we're going to go ahead and jump in with Mega Knight Hog Rider. A lot of people request it, so we're going to go with this variation. It's probably the safest, in my opinion. Mega Knight overall is very easy to use and a safe card. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a dub. All right, not a bad starting rotation. We got Hog Rider. You always want that in your starting rotation. Let's go ahead and do that now. We have Zap if he has something like... Go! Oh, that stinks, though. Man, that does stink big time. All right, and he's got E-Wizard, too, to shut down my Inferno Dragon, guys. This is going to be hard. I don't even get a shot off, and he gets, like, I don't even remember, a couple there. All right, let's go ahead and try to get a positive gain here. Let's see. We're going to use Bats in the future on the E-Wizard. It's no longer in rotation. The problem is I don't have a whole lot right now I can pressure with. So he goes in with a Sparky. I will probably go ahead and go in with the Inferno Dragon. Now, what he's going to do is, of course use the e-wizard this side all right but what we have to do is let's see let's see let me do this first let's go in with this right here all right boom and then we're gonna go ahead and take out the sparky i'm gonna go hog rider opposite lane he goes in with the skeleton dragon okay so i think we're still gonna be okay because that's level 14 so that does stink right and i'm going to basically try to get a positive game and distract them okay he goes e-wizard that side perfect guys that was some awesome defense all right so not too worried. This is what I was telling you about future, right? Going to go ahead and use the bats for a positive gain to take out that E-Wizard. Awesome. We're not quite in spell cycle range, but we're getting close at 820. Haven't even used the guards yet, but they're going to be great against Sparky. I'm going to apply pressure with the Inferno Dragon. He goes Sparky opposite lane. I'll use guards on that because his E-Wizard is out of cycle. Actually, we're going to leak some Elixir here. 
I gotta see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go Mega Knight. So this is what we need to do, right? We're gonna go here and then here. Boom. And we'll be able to take out, hopefully... Actually, I gotta go in with this, which does stink. To be able to take out the Sparky. And I think we're gonna be good. Perfect, guys. Awesome. And then we're gonna go in with this right here. And I probably will have to Fireball... Actually, no, I don't. Never mind. We go Hog Rider now. Perfect. Let's go. He goes Magic Archer. I am still not gonna... Uh, well, I will Fireball this. I have to do that, unfortunately. Boom. And then I'm gonna get some bats down. We take the other side. And he's gonna get a shot off. I gotta go in with the Mega Knight right about here. That's a good boom for us. We're gonna go in with some guards back here. Level 14 Firecracker. I didn't even notice that, right? Let's just do something like this here. Magic Archer actually did not go down. I will Fireball this stuff here. Oh, man. That would have been so much more value. Level 14 also. I was not able to take that down. He's going to go Ram Rider. He's got to. And then what we'll try to do here, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I got to go Mega Knight here. It's the only thing I can do. And we're going to go in with a boom right now. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. He's actually going to take it. Well played. All right. Good. Hey, we got a battle, guys. We got a battle. I'm going to go in right now. He's going to go Mega Knight himself. I'm going to go in with the bats. He has to go in with it. He's going to go E-Wizard, I believe. He goes Firecracker. So we're going to get a lot of damage from the Hog Rider, right? Bats are doing some work. Let's see what we got now. Let's see what we got. We're going to go Ice Golem, like, right here. I'm assuming he's going to go... Let's actually, let's do this, right? I thought he would do that with the Ram Rider. And then we're going to go in now. I'm not worried about the Ram Rider. We're going to get the bats down once again. He's got to go E-Wizard. That's what I thought. I'm going to zap here, though. I think it's a good play. So we can get another shot off. And we are going to take this with the Hog Rider. But I would have went Fireball. It doesn't matter. We got it. Let's go. GG's. Have a nice day. And peace out. And finally, just like Mega Knight Hog Rider, people request P.E.K.K.A. Hog Rider. This particular variation is more of a bridge spam style as well. Let's get ourselves a dub. All right. Hog Rider. Great defense, right? But Hog Rider under starting rotation is always what we want. So let's go ahead and drop that right now and see what our opponent does. Maybe Skeleton Army. Big Mama P.E.K.K.A. Okay. So what we'll do is play right into this. Now, we got to be a little bit calculated here because he could try to pressure opposite lane. Goes Wizard. So what I think I might do is go a little bit high here. Now, that does kind of stink because the Dark Prince will lose its shield. We do have to zap, and we come out ahead. That's perfect. Now, we're not going to really be able to do too much else here outside of take down the push, but we get some damage there, so that's great for us. Okay, Ram Rider. So let's get this down and Firecracker. Okay, the Ram Rider still may make it. I don't know. Oh, what? Are you serious? Come on, man. All right, that was pretty expensive, though. We should have a pretty good push on this one, though. And let's see what he does. He goes Log. I don't know what else he's going to be able to do here. Bandit should get a dash. He might be able to distract. He goes E-Wizard. Okay, so what we're going to do is go in with a Dark Prince. That was still pretty expensive. All right, now that wasn't the best Dark Prince, actually, because of the fact that the E-Wizard still was able to connect. So we got a shot off. Boom, perfect. And I'll let these bats go. want to save the Elixir. We are up in damage advantage here. He's got his Big Mama P.E.K.K.A. back in cycle. So we do have to be a little bit careful here because he's going to play it. But I'm going to go ahead and bait it out. By the time he plays his P.E.K.K.A., we're going to be closing in on Max Elixir to the point that I can actually get my P.E.K.K.A. down as well. And we get a shot off. Let's go. So let's see what he does. He goes in with the Wizard. So I'll go in with the Firecracker. And then we might go in. Let's see. Let's not do too much at all here, actually. Actually, that was pretty good there. But we'll be able to dash onto that wizard and take no damage at all outside of the one there. But, of course, when you dash, he doesn't take damage. Let's go in with the Dark Prince now. And I'm probably going to go Hog Rider here. He's going to be back to his P.E.K.K.A., I'm assuming. Right? So let's do it. And no, he goes Ram Rider. But look what... It, are you serious right now? Seriously, come on, man. That's so nasty and gross. We're going to get a lot of damage there, though. You guys, crossing your fingers. What's worse, rage crossing your fingers or is the free spell? All right, defensively. Let's go ahead and probably just log this back. We just want to spell chip at this point, and I'm just going to defend. That's the best thing we can do. We'll go in with a Dark Prince. We are very close to being able to take this with spells. And let's see. He's going to go Ram Rider, I'm assuming. He goes opposite lane. Okay, he's going to, you know what he's going to do, right? He's going to freeze. That's going to be his play, and he misses it. Never mind. Let's just do this. Have a nice day. GG's, and peace out. Here are the decks one more time. Definitely give them a try. Let me know in the comment section down below if your cards are under level, do you need some substitutions, etc. Thank you guys again for all of the continued support. Until the next video, take care, and peace out.